In a science classroom, have you ever wondered who gets to identify as a smart science student? It turns out this is important, and classroom teachers make a big difference. Not that long ago, researchers explored this question by spending a year in two similar classrooms. The classrooms were in the same school district, at the same grade level, with teachers committed to high-quality science instruction who were both well-known as outstanding educators. Students in both classrooms had positive attitudes about science, did well on science assessments, were engaged in their daily science activities, and were diverse racially, ethnically, and socioeconomically. But then, the researchers asked, who are the smart science students in your class? And found things were no longer the same. In Mrs. Sparrow's classroom, smart science students were described as knowing facts answering the teacher's questions correctly, and doing science at home. In Mrs. Sparrow's class, only four of the 15 students identified themselves as a smart science student. And strikingly, five students stated immediately, without hesitation, that they did not share any characteristics of the students they identified as the smart science students. These five were all females of color. In Miss Wolf's classroom, the smart science students were described differently. There, smart science students asked good questions, were good observers, were good group members, and kept trying even when they were wrong. In Miss Wolf's class, all 18 students identified themselves as a smart science student or indicated they shared those characteristics. So, what's going on? There's no one single smart science student identity. It's a socially constructed identity within the context of the science classroom culture. And developing this identity is not an individual endeavor. Further, this is an issue of equity. Is the smart science student identity compelling and accessible to every student? It turns out there's a lot that teachers can do to support the construction of a science classroom culture in which a smart science student identity is both compelling and accessible. Let's look at Ms. Wolf's successes. She established classroom norms including we share scientific ideas and we solve problems together. She modeled and explicitly discussed what sharing ideas and solving problems together would look and sound like. She held students accountable for these expectations, asking students to explain their groupmates ideas and consistently redirecting them toward their partners. In whole class conversations, Ms. Wolf helped students share observations, build on others' ideas, and develop new questions and investigations together. Contrastingly, Mrs. Sparrow's classroom norm of turn-taking fostered small group work in which the more dominant and assertive students got more time with materials and received more recognition for their science ideas during the whole class time. Shifts toward three-dimensional science classrooms in which students are collectively figuring out natural phenomena can simultaneously support cultures in which smart science student identities are compelling and accessible to every student. Want to learn more? Try these resources. And thanks for listening.